You can now generate transparent AI art like this right within Leonardo AI. And I'm not talking about removing the background after it's been generated. I'm talking about something is generated natively with a transparent background. Now this has a lot of real world applications for graphic designers, artists, and people who need to just simply create small objects. They can place them, turn them into stickers, place them into designs really quite easily because they're already cut out it's really a huge time saver as you don't even have to cut things out manually or even use an AI tool. You can pop it onto print on demand services and any kind of design or artwork where you want to create small elements, it's really quite handy. Now the first way to use it is once you've logged in, head down to image generation. And when it loads, you'll notice there's a transparency section sitting right here in the sidebar. For now, we're going to leave that turned off and I'm going to enter a prompt. I'd also like to mention this video is sponsored by Leonardo AI and there's a link in the description. So now we have our prompt. In vector art graphic of a Samurai Hanya style mask, I've also switched to Leonardo Vision XL and I'm going to generate two images and hit generate. You see here we've got some pretty cool imagery, however it's not transparent. So what I'm going to do is come over here and turn on transparency and this time generate again and check out what we have here. This is a vector style illustration and it has a transparent background. If I come here to the download button, you can see here it wants to save as a PNG. I hit save. Now if I drag this over, I have a PNG file here. You can see how it's got a background, a sort of transparent background. I double click and it's got a completely different color background because of this viewer has a transparent background. So it's that simple to create transparent images, but there's a few recommendations that you want to follow. It is recommended to use an Excel model such as Leonardo Kino Excel, Leonardo Vision Excel, or Albedo Base Excel to get the best results. And on top of that, using Alchemy or Photoreal will also produce some pretty good results using transparency. And also a shorter prompt is generally recommended, but let's test this out with something a little bit more sort of difficult other than just a vector image. I'm going to go to Photoreal and type in a new prompt, a DSLR photograph of an eagle flying. With transparency turned on, I'm going to hit generate and check out these images. I've got two eagles here, two eagles here flying. There's some basic shadows at the bottom there. I've also got this eagle flying here. So if I download this PNG and place it over a bunch of backgrounds, you can see how well the transparency sort of blends in and how some of the edging and the feathering is actually really neat because we're not cutting out a pre-rendered image. We are actually generating an image with a native transparency, which is extremely powerful when it comes to cutting out images. So you can go through and have a play with this using a bunch of different Excel models and settings and get some pretty awesome imagery using this particular tool. Now, it doesn't just stop there. We can actually use this pretty effectively over in the live canvas. So if I head back out to my main page, I go to real-time canvas. One of the cool things is this actually has a feature within canvas you can use, but I'm not going to get there just yet. What I'm going to do is import an image. So I'm going to go up here to add image. Go to my generations. I'm going to import this eagle graphic here. Firm. And move it up. And then I can also go up here to add image again. Generations. Add this samurai mask. Firm. And you can see that they're actually transparent. So I can actually start creating elements to go within the live canvas. I could even add in a different photo such as this astronaut. And I can pop him in the background. And by checking, checking these buttons here, I can move him to the back. I can pop the mask on the astronaut and have the eagle flying overhead. And I can give it a prompt. And you can see I've got a man outside wearing a Japanese samurai mask, holding a white astronaut helmet, eagle flying overhead. I've used photography and brought the creativity strength down. And we've been able to piece together this image with the little man in the helmet. What's really cool is if I take this mask, make it larger and shrink the eagle i can move it around and i have these little pieces these little pieces i can work with and move around on the canvas but you don't even need to operate in that fashion you can but we're going to clear the canvas completely confirm clear my canvas and i've removed my prompt i can come up here now to generate and it adds a window on the screen and i can do live generations right here so if i type in a giant green hulk cat i get this cat now this is a live generation. I can resize it into place and I can also change it. So maybe I change it from green to purple and I get a purple cat. When I'm happy with this image, I hit done. 
And now I have, if I hit instant refine, I have an image generated from that there. So live canvas is actually has an hour live generator that you can use within it. But that's not the reason I'm actually going through this part of the video. What I'm going to do is come down here and remove the background. And you can now create transparencies within live canvas on the left and it will generate on the right. And you can see how nice and smooth that is. And I'm using instant refine to give it that uh, polished look. But that means I can now import pieces, create pieces of little elements that I can move around and have a little bit more control over live canvas. So now if I decide I want to generate again, this time I generate, I have a jungle with a purple night sky, lime green glowing leaves, and I can regenerate until I find something I like. I think this one's pretty good. And because we have these various pieces on our actual image, I can move this here and then hit done. And I can go backwards or forwards and place that where I want it. Now, I haven't even given this a prompt yet. It's interpreted it pretty well. So this time I'm going to say a giant purple hot cat in the jungle at night, purple sky, green growing leaves, and it's created this in line with what we have. Keeping in mind, I can take this, move it, resize it, shrink the cat, and make changes to how things are laid out. So this is powerful. This is kind of like verging on the edge of like Photoshop, where you can AI generate bits and pieces to use on your canvas to create these really awesome images. Now, also, this is using the photography setting. So if I switch up to cinematic, and we can change this up again, we can bring up the creativity strength, it's quite low at the moment, and I get something like this. So you can see how now within Leonardo AI, you can cut out bits and pieces. You can generate images separately, import them, or you can generate images within the live canvas, remove the background, and work that way. Now, I will say this. You are removing the background on a pre-generated image here. So that is a really cool feature that is handy to use. And it's been here for a while on the image generator. But if you want to generate clean cut out images, you can do that in the image generator and import them by going to add image. Now, I created these images on the screen right now using Leonardo AI straight up with the transparencies and it's done an awesome job. So I want to thank Leonardo AI for sponsoring this video. Highly recommend you go and check that out using the link below. Otherwise, thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please consider giving it a like. Otherwise, I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.